Okay guys, if you watched the last two videos I uploaded previous to this video, you know that I ended up getting some new stuff. But today I want to make a more in-depth look at the 1950s Illinois Central high hood locomotive that I have sitting right over there. Now... This was from the 1950s, and I looked at the bottom of this engine, and this is from the Lionel's MPC era of model trains. See, the detail on here is pretty good for this old find I found at Phil's Hobby Shop, Hobby Store. I found this engine. I found this engine there, and who knows what story it has. I just know that this is an old engine and works great so I figured I'd make a more in-depth look about this locomotive because back in the 1950s this is my era of Lionel trains this is what I'd like to preferably collect conventional running locomotives and this is a GP9 locomotive it's a high hood I don't own many high hood locomotives this is the second one I have in the collection I do have a Wabash FM 115 but it's a completely different different type of locomotive entirely but nine miles advanced back when this engine first came out of the factory they ran it on tubular track the controller I don't 80 watt controller, I don't think that's changed much, but what has happened is you've gone from this to running a train wirelessly. Now, I prefer not to run trains wirelessly because I don't find it that fun, but running trains conventional, that is my cup of tea, and that is just what we'll be doing in today's video. I know it's kind of a long intro, but who cares? <laughs> you know, there's people out there that do longer intros than me, <laughs> so... Without further ado, let's get it running. Hopefully the train I built would be successful today. The light works, it just sometimes decides whether it wants to come on or off, but right now it's off. It's on here for me. 